if we expect something to be negative, then it will be. If we are expecting, if you're expecting a no, you'll get a no. If you're expecting a yes, you're much more likely to get a yes. Does that make sense? There is a law of expectation. I'll give, I could give you an example. The first Young Farmers Club dance I went to, I was terribly nervous, and I thought, oh, she went on to me, she went on to me, so I know, do you want to dance? No. And this bloke said, I'll show you how to do this. He goes over and he said, hi, come and dance. How many dances do you think he got? Well, and you know, that's a very simple and humorous and straightforward example. But there is a law of expectation. You get what you expect. I can give you a slightly different example of this. We, I probably haven't got time to, to cover this, but just be very, very aware. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be realistic. I'm saying our expectations need to be realistic. But if you have an expectation rooted in defeat, then that makes it less likely that you'll be successful. If you have an expectation that is rooted in victory and achievement, then I think it is much more likely that people will be successful. I did an interview on the Parkinson show about six, seven years ago, uh, in the last year, just before he, he stopped, but uh, Michael Parkinson was chatting afterwards and he said, do you know what? I always knew I'd be famous. And all the people on my show always knew they would be famous. And I thought, wow, isn't that interesting? And, and I said, are you sure? And he said, yeah. He said, did you ever think you'd be famous? I said, I didn't think I'd be famous, but I thought I'd be well known. Because since the age of 11, I got all the lead roles in my play at school and things like that. He said, there you go. So I, I think that this expectation thing is an important principle. But I, I, I won't talk any more about it. You talk about it over lunch, but let me just give you a philosophy for dealing with difficulty.